Hey, Dina here. Welcome to day two of Vloguary. Even though, once again, I'm recording it the night before, so it's a little weird, but whatever. Um, today, as in the day you're seeing this, is a special day because the Christmas decorations are coming down. I figure it's fair to keep them up until New Year's. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, you, you want to have them up for a while. You don't want to take them down the second Christmas is over. So, you know, they go up end of November and they come down beginning of January. I think that's, that's a good amount of time to have them up. And by that time, you're starting to get a little sick of them anyway. So what I wanted to do was just kind of take a couple minutes and just kind of show off my Christmas decorations because I'm on a, I'm on a tight budget. And um, all things considered, I think, I think my decorations look pretty nice considering how little I have to spend on them. So I just kind of wanted to show them off a little bit and, and you know, maybe it'll give you some ideas of, of what you could do. If you're also on a budget, but you like to have decent decorations. <laughs> so starting in the kitchen, this is just a bunch of um, fake poinsettias I got at a dollar store. Um, from this distance, they actually look really good. And now I'm freeze framing because I didn't film them long enough. <laughs> I honestly just did this. I, I did the filming part of this just really quick yesterday. So anyway, they're just stuck in a vase, which um, actually isn't a real vase at all. I took a container that it came with a bunch of bar snacks. Actually, it originally it was uh, clear and I just spray painted it black because I thought it might make a neat looking cylindrical vase. So I've been using that. It's, it's non-seasonal. After Christmas is over, I'll get some sort of non-Christmassy type of flowers or whatever to put in it. And surrounding it are just a bunch of Christmas cards I've gotten that I kept because they had neat looking designs on them. Um, yeah, it's a very simple um, setup, but you know, I think it looks pretty nice and there you go. I also uh, got an extra bunch of, of fake poinsettias so I could just sort of cut the flowers off and just kind of stick them in random spots. I like poinsettias a lot. I'm not a flower person, but I love poinsettias. I just think they're so pretty. Here I just got some green and gold garland that I got from the dollar store. Um, the only downside is that the kind from the dollar store is really thin, so it's actually two of them kind of twisted together. But um, I, I just sort of put that over this entrance to the hallway and I just stuck a little poinsettia in each corner. This is the bedroom window. I didn't do a whole lot with this. I just um, put some more uh, silver garland around the top of it and um, there's also some blue lights kind of lining the top. For the most part you can only see them from outside. This is nothing special. I just had some extra red garland so I just sort of draped it over this uh, this big window slash doorway we have that goes uh, uh, goes out to the porch. I'm actually kind of proud of this wreath simply because I did it on a budget and I made it completely... Well, I didn't make it from scratch exactly. I just bought some cheap um, garland from Walmart and I just kind of wrapped it uh, in a circular pattern and I used wires and hot glue to secure it and um, I bought some holly and I stuck some holly on it and um, some blue and silver ornaments. And this year I added those little poinsettias to the bottom. Um, I was actually trying to go for a silver and blue and red somewhat color scheme for my, uh, for the living room. And finally, here's the tree. Um, again, I was trying to go for kind of a silver and blue mostly color scheme, but the fact that there's multicolored lights on the tree just kind of detracts from that. Um, I probably should have gotten one with blue or clear lights, but oh well. But yeah, all of the ornaments are blue and silver. I was I was weirdly picky about that when I picked it out, and it's got a nice white star on it. And there's uh, um, around the window, I have a um, silver garland that I wrapped with blue uh, Christmas lights, and it's going along the top there. And um, you can see the lights outside somewhat too, but mostly you could see them inside for this one. And again, this year I stuck poinsettias in the corners. One more shot of the tree. The only bad thing about this tree, it doesn't have any like little quirky ornaments. They're all from like one or two sets I bought at Walmart one year. So I should probably do something about that and make it, give it a little more character. This reindeer, I love this reindeer. It was a random find and I just, 
got it at a thrift store and I couldn't believe how perfect it was because it's silver and some of the bells on it are blue so it already had the silver and blue color scheme and I just added that blue ribbon. So I love this reindeer. It goes perfect with the rest of my decorations. And while I'm here, I figured I'd also show off my uh, Princess Celestia action figure that was a Christmas gift from my husband. I love how badass she looks. And that's just about all my Christmas decorations. So I, I have this, uh, I have this little ritual where I basically I'll put, I'll find some series on Netflix or whatever, and I'll just try to sort of put it on and binge watch it. Last year was Cheers. I discovered that Cheers was on Netflix, so I just binge watched Cheers, or more like I had it playing in the background while I took down the tree and the and the Christmas decorations, and I drank champagne while I did it, just because. Um, I'll probably I'll probably do something like that again. I don't have any champagne on hand, but I do have some ruby port that's been sitting around since my birthday. So, yeah, I'll be drinking ruby port and taking down the Christmas decorations. For those of you who posted questions in the comment section of my last video, I am going to get to those soon. Feel free to keep posting them if you still have them, I guess. I'll, I'll eventually get through them. That's it for now. See you next time.